Hi guys, this is a video on how to create a custom map for your website. Here you can see I have the Dunksweb chat map located at dunksweb.com forward slash map and it's basically got some members that are chatting inside the Dunksweb chat right now. I've simply placed it on here and you can go to this address and you can see all the different people. It's a great way to put in a perspective, a community or loads of people visiting a website. You can get people to collaborate on it and edit their own locations if you wish. But for this I'm just doing it myself. So how is this made? Well this is actually done through Google Maps, it may have looked familiar. It's very simple to do, you just go to My Maps, you must have a Google account to do this. Simply go to My Maps, you can see I've got one that's created by me and one that's created by another one. Uh, so this is my one which I'll show you in just a second. But all you have to do is go to Create New Map, give it a name, My Map, and say this is my map, bitches. And then you just click Save very simple, click done and your map is ready to go. Notice on the right hand side that you have an RSS link so every time you place something new onto your map it will go through on the RSS feed which is very useful if you want people to check it out and subscribe to your map so you can put in extra bits. You can also print it out, send it or you can give people a direct link to it or you can embed it inside your website which is exactly what I've done with the Dunks Web chat map. You can also subscribe to this via RSS which I'll put a link next to it uh, in, in a few seconds. So you can also customise and preview it if you wish. Now when you go to plot points on this, so for example if I type in uh, London and have it go to London, all you need to do is click on this little A here, click it and then, it's, then say save to my maps and I'm going to put it to my map and then it will ask some details, what do you want to put inside it? So for my one, I've just put in the member names. You can have rich text, HTML or plain text. So it's useful if you want to add pictures for the members who are visiting your website or just for a bit of fun to say, um, I want to go here, this is located here, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just say cool, click OK and it's saved and it's ready and it's there so if you were to embed it elsewhere you can see it will look exactly like this but it's you set this inside Google Maps so it's very useful stuff so you can see it, you can view it in Google Earth, you can do a bunch of sharing options it's very easy to do if you want to have other people help you with this you can share it here you just need to do emails you don't need to give a public link otherwise obviously uh, people are just going to spam your map but it's very cool stuff if you don't want to have it public you can have it as unlisted so very good stuff if you want to try this out go to google.com forward slash maps go to my maps and you can create your own so that's about it really this was requested by tutorial boy 101 from the dunks web chat room so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again